to solve a nice vertical equation, let's try to eliminate the square roots. To do that, both sides subtract square root of n. So we get square root of n equals square root of 325 minus square root of n. Square both sides. So we get n equals that square equals 325. That square equals m, and then we need to minus 2ab, right? Minus 2 times 325 times m. But we know 325 equals 5 square times 13. So we get n equals 325 plus m minus 2 times square root of 5 squared times 13 times m. We can extract 5 out. 2 times 5 equals 10. So we get n equals 325 plus m minus 10 times square root of 13 times m. You know, n, 325, and m are all natural numbers. So the square root also a natural number. So we get square root of 13 times m is a natural number. But you see, that means 13 times m should be a perfect square. And 13 is a prime number. So you see, m must have that form, m equals 13 times a perfect square, say a square. a is a natural number. By symmetry, n also have a similar form. So let's let n equals 13 times b square. Again, b is a natural number, right? Then we plug in the given equation. So we get square root of uh, 13 a square, which is m, plus square root of n. So square root of 13 b square. The right side, square root of 5 square times 13. So we get square root of 13 times a plus square root of 13 times b, the right side, 5 times square root of 13, both sides divided by square root of 13, so we get a plus b equals 5. But we know a, b are natural numbers. So the possible values for a, b would be, so right here, a, b, equals a1, then b4, right? If a is 2, then b is 3. If a is 3, then b is 2. Finally, if a is 4, then b is 1. But our goal is to figure out m and n. So let's calculate a squared, b squared first. So then a squared, b squared would be 1 squared, 1, 4 squared, 16. So square 2 be 4, square 3, 9, so we have 9, 4, right? 4 square 16, and then 1. So m and n should be 13 times a square, 13 times b square. So the possible value for m and n would be 13 times 1, 13. 13 times 16 would be 208. 13 times 4, 52. 13 times 9, 117. So that would be 117. And then 52. The final solution would be 208. 1 times 13, 13. So we get four solutions to the given equation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.